two weeks of guide data for 34 countries, every satellite and antenna and, and uh, cable provider. Um, so that includes metadata like who's in the movie, cast and crew, uh, credits, and this is all just part of the second screen experience. Um, so we'll get information here on you know Christian Bale and what he's been in as you watch in simple control. Um, you can tune channels, uh, change the channel here, uh, and the feedback of what's playing on the dish receiver changes uh, to reflect the new show. No, no. You also uh, can do things on Dish DVRs or TiVo or DirecTV, like DVR control. So we'll show you what is on your DVR. You can select uh, an episode of something, play that. Um, we'll show you with Dish specifically other manufacturer specific features like Primetime Anytime. Um, and these are just the things that Dish does specifically for them. Uh, and that we integrate with, just recording all of your primetime television. Again, another dish specific feature, and we offer similar features with TiVo or DirecTV, is timer management. What are you set up to record on your dish uh, hopper? Um, and this takes a few seconds to come up. But uh, then you can edit that and say, well, I only want, um, you know, for last week tonight, I only want new episodes or all episodes. These kinds of things that are deep integration with uh, Dish's system, we get into all of that. So whether it's DVR, guides, content, um, we do all of that with all the major systems. Uh, and now here at the show, of course, Comcast is announcing IP control, so of course we'll be doing that as soon as possible. We also have gesture control. So this is where you're trying to solve the hard button remote problem. You're trying to give people a sense that they know where a button is uh, without trying to feel for it um, and so we have these safe safe buttons where you're not going to accidentally tap the screen uh, and suddenly stop your movie instead you can jog shuttle the button like that as you hold it down and move it in a specific direction uh, or go back to the traditional virtual remote interface here we also have lighting controls uh, home video cameras um, surveillance cameras, uh, lighting with Lutron and Hue, uh, and many others. Um, the, over here, we have a very deep Sonos integration. So whether it's the music library or Pandora or pretty much any Sonos service, we'll show you the feedback for that. You can. You know, thumbs up, thumbs down if you're playing something from Pandora. We also support Sonos grouping, so you can group your Play 1 with your Play Bar and much more complex scenarios. That can all actually be programmed so that you can have activities where you're switching the configuration and grouping of your speakers. Um, so very deep Sonos integration, all the way down to you know album art and, and what songs are in your queue and Sonos favorites uh, and, and so on. The Sonos um, line-in and, and internet radio as well. Do you want to give us an Alexa demo? Sure. So if we start here on Watch Dish, and then I say, Alexa, it tells people to watch Roku. Okay. 